Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Sheets, and uh, we have two special guests. Actually, I wouldn't consider Brave Jayhawk a special guest anymore. He's here every week. Um, but we also have a very special guest, Gabe, um, who is the creator of uh, Survivor Atlas, which is probably the, the new best tool there is, um, without me knowing all the other tools. Um, and as I mentioned last week, this week is a strange week from a content perspective, only because I'm I'm leaving for overseas uh, later this evening. So uh, it's gonna it would be very difficult for me to schedule a, a podcast in the way that I, I wanted to, but I wanted to put something out. So as normally everybody, you know, I, I, we wait for the Survivor Grid stuff to come out, we wait for the spreads, we wait for stuff to come up, but I, I wanted to put something out, and it's uh it's going to be a unique uh, uh, privilege to spend this week spending, uh, I guess, a good majority of the time with Gabe uh, talking about his uh, his tool and stuff like that. Um, I've, I'm, we're going to get right into it. We're going to we're going to first just start as usual with with how we how we did la how we did last week. That's Gabe's uh, that's Gabe's face. Now we're going to just share my stuff. So as I mentioned last week when we went over this, and I was I wasn't you know listen I wasn't joking you know I I have a like fifty eight different entries fifty uh, throughout of course all my survivor pools, and I said I wasn't going to have a share of Cincinnati and and and, and I didn't um, and that's just the way it is and every, every I'm actually Good. shocked that that the survivor gods didn't punish me like they always do. For, for for things like that. I mean, you have to like all the way down to the end. I, I wasn't didn't even actually believe that the Patriots are going to hold on literally until like the last almost like the last kneel down. It's like ridiculous. You get honey so much in Survivor for making these plays that I mean, I, I still remember like two, three years ago when all we needed was the Jets to not allow the Raiders to have a 50 yard oh, to knock it. out to knock out 40 percent of the pool. And, and, and we could I couldn't get that done. So this is what this is what playing Survivor does to you for whatever. So I did end up, uh, listen, like most of the sharper players, you know, it was off of Cincinnati. Um, I'm, again, believe it or not, Gabe, um, th there are more pools than just Circa, okay? Huh? Um, and, and and so just to kind of go over it, so in Circa, me and my partner, we, you know, I, as I post in the Discord, we had a scramble of, you know, the Saints, probably mostly mostly the Saints. Uh, actually, three for each of us, it was like three Saints, three, um, three Seattles, two bucks and i went back and forth between the last two i originally had uh the chargers bills in there but then when the atlanta line moved i just couldn't resist so i so i took two of the atlantas um like like a lot of a lot of good players did anyway so 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 they lost and obviously we couldn't be more happy um with with the results um in the my regular yes. single pick pools i did go for a little bit of chicago just because again you don't have the same scarcity issue of on christmas and stuff like that with that and also in my pool where, I don't know, Gabe, I don't know if you know about this pool, but I'm in this pool where it's like the psycho pool where it, it double start, well, you have double picks in week five and then doubles in week nine all the way to the end, okay? So it ne almost never gets to the end. You got to pick like like 20, like like almost all 30 teams. So that's like the ultimate just future value, push everybody out. And I didn't play any Seattle there because I, I needed them. You know, you, you got to need them for for five, which is doubles and 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 etc. So so I obviously I'm very very happy with with with, with the results. Um, before we get to Gabe, if you want to talk about what you did, um, uh, how did you end up doing, uh, uh, Mike? So I can't remember exactly what I said last week, but I woke up Sunday morning and saw the. I went to my daughter's soccer game. And one of my friends asked me who who you should take in his in his pool. Looked at the spreads and I saw Atlanta moved uh, four four and a half. Uh, I didn't even I didn't even look to see why that was. It didn't really matter to me. Um, so I I I, I took a very, my largest position into being Atlanta. I went from zero Atlanta to lar largest position, probably like 35, 35-ish percent or so, forty percent on them. Um, and then I got rid of – I only took three teams. I took Atlanta, Chicago, and Tampa Bay. I still really liked New Orleans, but it, I was out and about, and I'm like, I, I decided just to take three teams. I, I, I like New Orleans. I got off – I was going to get off my Seattle regardless. I, I got nervous after seeing the circuit projection Saturday night, and I, I just felt like they were just going to be too heavily picked. For, uh, for my liking, Gabe, Gabe, and just, Gabe, got just, off of them. Gabe, just so you know, I mean, Mike, Mike's uh, off of uh, 
Mike's off of circuit this year. So he's, he's, uh, oh, so that's why you see him. He's, he's taking Chicago, you know? Uh, so he, right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so he was, so he was, he was off of that this year. Um, and, uh, so listen, you're not going to be here. So what, what happens Gabe with content survivor content's really screwed up because the, 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 the longer the season goes, the less people are interested because, <laughs> because people are out, you know? So, so what we end up doing is we 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 kind of really hope that the other one of us at least is is live for as long as the season is possible, and we've and we've run pretty pure as far as that goes, and we've we've each actually won a pool over the last like four years. So oh, we, nice. we yeah, so we've been able to do that. So Gabe, why why don't you? I mean, you for, okay in order, you can tell us how you did last week if you want, and then you know I'm gonna share your screen and and uh, Survivor uh, the, the Survivor Atlas. Gabe, give us give us like. like yeah minutes on or five minutes on who you are if you people don't know give give us a little bit of why of, of this of this and get, tell tell me what you play are, are you first of all are you in vegas yes so i'm in vegas and i'm only playing personally circa this year um i'm i'm familiar with with you and uh brave jayhawk from the two plus two survivors uh post from maybe what was like, what was what was your, your screen name over there my screen name was GP. Uh, okay. I was I was kind of I wasn't really a tournament player oh, coming okay. up, but I was in the cash more on the cash game side. But uh, you know, I'm familiar with you from from that scene a little bit. And but from Survivor, I know I know you guys as like people who who talk Survivor the way I think about Survivor, which is like you know value and and trying to bust up the field, not just trying to survive every week. So uh, it is cool getting to talk to you today. Uh, so as far as circuit survivor, I have, or I have nine entries left. My name is wishbone. Uh, you can find that in the lobby, your name, your sheets. I, yes, that's your name on there. Okay. I got you favorited. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be checking your picks every week. Uh, so yeah, I got nine to 10 through. I lost it one Atlanta as well and didn't use any in Cincinnati. Kind of like you were saying, the the week went so good for people who play our style. I I don't remember the last week one that went this way. I feel like week one always get kind of behind the eight ball, um, but it it feels nice when the number one own own team finally goes down. I feel like the last few years, you know, I have different people hit me up for pieces and whatnot, and then after week one every year, I got to deal with uh oh. The, the big favorite survives and all your teams lost. And this year I didn't have to hear that. So what a, uh, what a great year or what a great start, I should say. Um, and all, as far as the, the, the kind of wacky survivor stuff, the double picks and all that, I've never played anything with double picks. The most things I, or I played nitrogen, every one of the nitrogen pools yeah. for the most entries possible. They never did the weird stuff like that. And then, by the time that started cooling off, Circa came out, and I've just played Circa since. But you know that that thing you were talking about of as the season goes on, everyone gets knocked out more, and it's less. It's kind of a twisted thing how the, the there's less people involved. But I think survivor pools are starting to blow up. Yep. Not just from Circa, but you know these other sites run run pools, and the Circa number is growing so much. It's it's incredibly bullish and exciting and for all the people out there who love playing survivor and are not playing circuit you you got to try to make it work out next year it's going to be crazy money well let's talk uh, about, so let's talk about that for a second so mm -hmm. from a content perspective um so I, i'm i i guess the the idea that circuit was i guess hopes for and then you hope for other people hope for is that even people who are not in will start to like start rooting for people, you know, and, and, and rooting against people, you know what I mean? Like people were rooting mm. against the, that, 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 that poker player last year. Um, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and people, and listen, that's, that's all healthy. You know what I mean? That's all healthy, healthy <laughs> stuff, you know, as far as content goes. And I'm, and, 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 you know, I know that they put out, um, you know, they, they're, they're trying to do that, uh, that reality show uh, the, on BSIN, which mm. they're putting out and, 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 I don't want to get too into it. Actually, they're very disappointed with actually with with the um with with the uh, the coverage of it. Um, as far as mm -hmm. if it got picked up and stuff like that, I'm always very curious to see what what type of 
interest there is in sweating other people's, you know, picks in general. Right, right, right. Can it be entertainment or not? Yeah. Right. Or survivor or whatever it is. But but you so I, I want to talk about the site a little bit. So so mm. uh you're I guess I've I guess my first question is like what's what's your background that that allows you or 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 you know motivates you to do all this kind of work um and you know are you are you a more of a gambler more of a software guy more of like a combination of a guy and and tell me what what motivated you so basically this is mm. this is survivor grid plus team rankings plus you know everything juiced you know what i mean like like this is this is a site that does like a lot of stuff that a lot of survivor people would kind of want but there's also a real um d- directed focus on the on the circa pool you know like being able to to analyze what people have in circa be able to search and for whatever and i'm gonna have you kind of help help me demo this for for a second um but but tell okay. me tell me where you got started with this site okay well well background wise i i do have a degree in computer science okay but that you know i got that 15 plus i guess more than that now years ago almost 20 years ago and and I never used it except to help me with gambling. Uh, I was a professional poker player for uh, 15 years or so. I have a, a lot of caches. I won the biggest short deck tournament ever in the world. Nice. Using, um, you know, and I, I feel like I figured that out before other people because I used computer stuff to, you know, hack up some some solutions before other people had tools. And then when COVID hit, you know, I was playing poker with. Uh, in on the Chinese scene, Macau, Hong Kong, the Triton stuff. Oh my and God. I got, I got a story to tell you offline then about that, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, and well, when COVID hit, I, I stopped doing the, the traveling, chasing the, the Chinese whales around the world kind of thing. And sitting at home over the year and a half or so, uh, I, I just kind of had a transformation where I didn't, the gambling wasn't fulfilling, and I found myself uh, when I develop code and share with people. I think that was that's the thing that always makes me feel like I get the best buzz from that building building things and having people think it's cool. And I personally, I found so much more pleasure in building stuff for people than like busting a guy at a poker table. You know, that was fun. I feel like in my twenties that motivated me a lot to get some money, just outplay everyone at poker, but. I don't want to spend my full time doing that anymore. I want to, I want to, I just like building stuff. It just makes me feel good. And I am really get really charged up when people tell me they love my site. So I appreciate that. And hopefully in the future, you know, it can keep growing into something that's kind of an institution in the survivor space. Of course, now we focus on Circa. That just seemed kind of a good way to get off the ground and get, get interest. But I think for the future, there's no telling what what it could hold for which contest we're doing. I think there's going to be more contests. There's going to be more demand. And if there's not Survivor Atlas, there's a lot of tedious work for everyone to do. So I think people are going to value it for years to come. Uh, you know, Circa, the way they release the picks, you have to, it's just a PDF that's 75 pages long. Yep. If anyone else wants to go play with that, I would love to see other people come up with stuff, but... As it is, we got Survivor Atlas, and it's it's kind of the only game in town as far as a lobby for 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 Survivor. Did you um? And, did you um? Do you charge for this or yet? No, no nothing. Uh, nothing this year. We're not trying to make any money this year. I think my personally, I would love to to you know get seeds planted for a Survivor community. Okay. And I think long term having that having community will we'll figure out whatever we need to, you know, pay for the servers and stuff long term. But the community stuff also making deals uh, yeah, through through survivor networking. Uh, it's, it's helped me a lot in life on the buy side and the sell side. I think it's uh, just good. So I'm, I'm just trying to meet smart people and talk to them. And and this podcast right now, evidence that I that it was kind of a smart idea. I could meet some smart people, talk about some smart people because the website put out. So yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have those hopefully some sharp some smart people for you to meet one of these days. So for, for now, two, you're just, two year two years ago I was smart. For now you're just <laughs> for now you're just stuck with us. You know, okay. 
Okay, that's fine. But for now, like for, now that. for now, it's just it's just <laughs> us two idiots. But um, mm. so why why don't you now now here here's 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 my my my. Do the kids still say my jam? I guess not. My kids, yeah, must. you can say so, that. So my jam is is when any, anybody has their site or something on there, instead of having them mm. demo it and share the screen, I demo it because it's more of a representation of how other people would struggle. You know, so it'll give you some ideas of like of like how you might be able to think about your sites or whatever. So, so like when you, when you launch your site like here, okay, it says survive another day, and so I would I would guess that this has something to do with the circle lobby to want to want to uh, screen people here. The map before I even click on it, I imagine it's going to look something like Survivor Grid. The instruments I'd have to kind of click through community. I bet as something to do with maybe a link to discord or, or something like that, or a list of that. And then all contests explore circus stuff. I guess it's going to, it's going to do that. So the other thing is, let me look up here. It's the same thing. So everything on the right hamburger thing is, is accessible over here. Hamburger. So, right. So let me see for like, so first of all, if you just wanted to just talk about circa, you click on over here and then, Oh, okay. This is like, okay. So it's, it's, it's it's um it's the word I'm looking for. It's a lot of it's it's the word you're looking for. A stimulus. It's a lot of stimulus here. So oh right. So here's bright colors. So bright colors, whatever it is, and I'm looking. Okay, so I know I could search for players. Um, so like for example, I imagine if I just type in my name here, I would just hit sheets and it'll come up with my with my whatever. Oh, so this this guy is not me. The sh three sheets one. This is mine. This is mine. Um. Mm -hmm. And so it'll list who who we have and, and and whatever, and then it'll actually oh no this this is the full pool breakdown over here. Okay, so we can get rid of sheets now. You can't search for two people at once. It's either one person or or the whole pool, right? Yes, you can you can follow people. So like sheets when you oh see I wish I'd know it. See I, I so if I go to sheets for example and I put in here and then we go here. And then there should be a thing saying follow or something, right? Is that the story? That's right. If you cl click your name and it opens up a, or excuse me, on the row. Like here? Click, click that. Ah. And then, and then a star. A star. A star is born. Now, let me ask you. So so if you, if you star all these guys, I, I'm just kind of like visualizing. If you star like 60 guys, can it give, give a summary of who those 60 guys have available? Uh, yes, that's not yet. Uh, oh, okay, but, right, right. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing stuff out there. Yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a great feature. Okay. That, like that pie chart on the right is currently just the overall, right? The overall, but I plan to make it so when you use these filters, you know, by teams use, team burn, team available, or searching, that the pie will adjust to that. There's really there's a million cool things that I I, I wish were all done by today uh, to show you guys. <clears> now uh, we're gonna get to what you have done. So. This okay. is going to say show only favorites. So again, I think as it goes, then what does show favorites do? So show favorites. Oh, did you favorite yourself? Or, uh, sorry, I, I didn't realize. Oh, didn't... That, so this means show. Oh, that's so funny. So this means show only your favorites, not like the favorite teams. Okay. So show only favorite players in the contest. Okay. I mean, this is, this is like, you know, this is, this hey, is what these are the things. Hide the dead would mean probably uh, hide the people who are not yet in. Uh, who are already out, but yes. just their entries or the whole person. You know, like what if a person has six six entries out? Well, when the it's <laughs> the filters are just you know when you when you start putting in teams and okay. it, and sometimes you know I, I have it so you only it only shows two hundred players at once. Okay, so if you search for who used Cincinnati in the filter, there might be more than two hundred players, and sometimes it's convenient to just hide the dead ones. You know, okay. deeper in the deeper in the contest when I think week one probably doesn't really matter for that option, but deeper in the contest when you're filtering stuff, sometimes it's a little easier. I don't know. But try the try the filter over there. Team up. Oh, I was gonna say the uh let me go back. Lobby. So on the right where it says teams used, teams available. And for for teams used, hit edit and go to you know, Carolina. Or let's see who burn. Let's see. Let's see who burns Seattle for now. Okay. Okay. That, that's 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 good information. Okay. So these are all the people that well, teams used. Okay. So not who's available. This is teams used. Teams available. You can go here. Okay. So so these are all the 
the entries that used Seattle. Okay, fair enough. So you yes, can a bunch of people went 10 Seattles, like for example. Okay. Right. And, and then so once the weeks start happening, you, you can see this. And when you open up someone's name, you can see all their entries and all their, their history for each. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then if you didn't want to do it that way, you can click off of this and then clear. How do I get out of this? Okay. So now if you want to see how many people had have Seattle available, then you could just do the opposite. You can go here teams available and then what's kind of now can you do can you do multiples like can you scan for who's used both seattle and cincinnati but still has buffalo available uh for entries yes since week one there's only one game played it doesn't right but there's no the filter is where we have a a draft of more filters that are all player focused this is just each the the filter are for entry options and then you know, it shows them organized by player, uh, but you can try. Uh, I guess, yeah. Week one, week one, it's it's not as fun to mess with, right? Uh, but I'm looking forward to making that way cooler. Even, I think by Friday we're gonna have something out on that. So, nice. all right. So let's uh, let's then. Okay. So here's more surface. Oh my god. So you're gonna have to go through what all this stuff means. Um, so this is this is the rankings, I guess. And I, I have a feeling as the season goes on, this is going to be a little bit kind of cooler because now it's like everybody's only taking one team, you know, um, every entry's taking one team. Hey, but, but, you know, I think some people who haven't played survivor a lot might not realize this, the availability for Seattle, what just happened. So if you click week two for the available, uh, we can see, right. We can see Seattle that's is right. starting to squeeze and, uh, you know, that's just a little bit interesting, like you said now. It'll, it'll right, get more... because 28% of the people, 28% of the entries. Uh... Right, a and keeping an eye on the holidays for Circa in this thing is going to be really cool, too, because every week as we get closer to the holidays, you know, which teams are more available, that's uh, crucial. So these are these are, these are your little icons. So, so uh, see, this is why I get paid the big bus. I can tell that if there's a turkey next to them, then, then, then they play on Thanksgiving. So this is this is my my creative. Yes, story. nailed it. And then this little this 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 representation of I guess a Christmas tree reminds me that 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 they are uh, that they play that week. Now again, what's what's we get into maybe you know some picks and some circus strategy. You know the an underappreciated aspect, by the way, of these holiday seasons, these holiday weeks is the scarcity of the second pick, you know, because if, if three or four, you know, if you have to, if three teams, if three games are already removed, you know, then you only have like nine or so games to pick from that second thing. So almost like a Christmas B, you know, uh, that that's, that's another bit of scarcity that, that now what is, okay, let's, let's go on Rose. What is SFS? Okay. So these, these rankings, these are the only two kind of made up acronyms I have on the whole site. I okay. think. Uh, SFS is the sum of the future spreads. Okay. Um, oh, that's cool. And and what's cool also is you looking at the future weeks, like if you go to the rankings for week five, you know, that removes all the spreads from weeks one, two, three, four. Okay. So, so you Oh, that's how... neat. Oh, that's really neat. Thank you. And then so, ba so basically you, you can click on a week to see how valuable that team is after that week. Yes, the the yes, season. yes. Right on. I and like then that a lot. And then TDC, that's top dog count. That's how many weeks they're the number one projected play that week, like the highest. Uh, on that. And again, that's just for the future, starting with whatever week you pick. Yes, yes. And it's it's yeah. objective. It's just trying to figure out, you know, looking at the odds, trying to figure that out. And as of this moment, I think it's not updated for uh, the future, the far future stuff. Um, because you know all the games this week and change that, and Tuesday is when we update everything. And since we're starting at the beginning of Tuesday, it's not it's not there yet. But gotcha. Uh, hmm. Well, this is very. very I like these. I like these two acronyms, Gabe. One, uh, if if you could add a third one, maybe like T T three C or T five C, like top top three count. But I, I really I really like the idea of you know seeing oh you know you can you can look at a survivor grid, but it's nice to see how they rank versus every other team numer uh, numerically. Hey, right. right on. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to add the uh, T3 or T5. I, how about you just tell me which one I should do? Should I do top, thr top three count or top five count? And I'll have it on there. 
Well, this is your idea, Mike. I mean, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, well, I was going to make it more complicated. I, I was thinking oh, that I should make it more complicated. Right. I, just, I, I would say to, I would say top three. Um, okay. Cool. Where, where it gets tricky, but you know, where you can't have it, you know, perfect is yeah. you know, there's there's some weeks where you know, like five teams tie for top three. Listen, um, listen, but, listen, listen Mike. Uh, Mike goes like zero percent New Orleans because he wants to pile in all the Atlanta. He's he's known for making things more complicated. So no, so. I liked it. I, I still liked Atlanta. There's just too many teams to take. Too many teams. Uh, so uh, okay. so here is so here. This is this is this is kind of beyond cool. All right. So so this is. A, you know, a derivative of what people have sort of seen before. Um, uh, oh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. I, I, I do want to say that Survivor Grid, uh, I know you guys use that. Yeah. I have used it forever, too. Yeah. Uh, big shout out to Survivor Grid. It was a huge influence to make all this stuff. Staring at Survivor Grid for so many hours. Yeah. But it didn't have the Thanksgiving and the Christmas. Yeah. yeah. That ultimately pushed me to do all this. So. Well, that's because, again, I mean, but you know, again, people, contrary to popular belief, there, there are other... You know, not every pool is a is is circa. You know, um, but uh, so 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 what this is, people that have been playing Survivor for more than six months, like they they at least resemble what something like this is. Okay, this is a pool of 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 the, is a map of the of the futures of the teams. Now, let me add, not not to be greedy, but but is this going to populate with futures with with uh, with spreads? Uh, or yes, not? yes. So in the top right corner on that little gears box. Ah, you can, you can show some stuff. Uh, well, oh, there you go. That's well. That's what I figured. Okay. So and again, this is the thing that I wouldn't have thought to even to even do. Okay. Hey, we got a we got a lot of secret secret features. Yes. So I'm, I'm glad to show them off. I know one of your favorite things is the divisional matchup oh, icons. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you hit show icons, it puts a little icon for uh, international games and divisional matchups. Uh, we, we will be we will be hiding the icons for the. For the <laughs> For the, for the whole season now show wp that's winning percentage okay that's again big bucks okay i figured that one out yes. uh, uh just to add and um uh, so this system right now you know when the before the season started we had a market on every game so i could scrape uh the spreads and the win percentage right okay uh, it's going to be but you know that those markets aren't up throughout the year so it's kind of difficult it's a little more difficult to guess the future spreads you know, Survivor Grid has their own way of doing it. We're going to make our own way of doing it. And we're going to use the market implied team strength. Um, okay. you know, and we're going to make it so you can modify any of the team strengths and the whole map will change with that. And I'm really excited about the, the prototypes we got. I don't know what day, hopefully this week we get it out, but uh, the map is about to come alive even more. So if, any of these numbers look a little funny right now on Tuesday morning. Just we're getting there. We're so close to getting this next wave out. Right. I'm afraid what this means. So my maps. Um, hmm. Okay. Or so I, I, thanks for bringing it up. I guess it's not clear enough. Um, but if you start picking it, setting your path from, from week two oh, onward. Okay. Then it'll and save it for you. Okay, okay. You can save it, and then, you know, it's kind of fun to make one at the beginning and save it, and then look at it weeks later, and then... Yeah, see it. how much he changes, you know? Yeah. Okay, that's my maps. What's... what? Now, we'll get to Solver in a second, which is, like, beyond insane, but but that I've actually played with a little bit. So what's this little dash here? Anything yet? Once you start selecting teams, that fills up with the chance they're going to win. So if you click one team... Oh, Okay. And I'll click pick another, then it'll do. Oh, okay. Or no, pick a different, pick a different week. Pick it. Oh, right. So it'll say your chance of winning the whole that the whole that whole string. Okay. Yes, yes. And uh, then if you click click that now, where it has the actual button for the anchor and the ones, it'll just show a list. So if you if you had twenty things selected and you wanted to see them on a list, you can click that and open them up. Oh, okay, okay. Now, now this thing, Mike is 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 sick. So. This is Solver, and what this does is it gives you. You said that other one was your other acronym, but yeah, you, you're all kinds of nicknames throughout this whole. <laughs> thing. So, so right. this is doing is is um, is giving you different paths to to victory, or well, different paths to the end, or different paths, however you want to put it. So. There's a maximized survival, quick sale, long haul, old ways, 
and Zenith. Okay, so I'm gonna guess. Oh, maximum survival is just that's 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 not, nothing to click, right? Okay. Right. Mm. So, quick sale. Boy, I can't imagine. But but you click on quick sale, and it just gives you a path that gets you to the end. Now, what what the, now? On his in his Discord channel, by the way, because uh, Survivor Atlas has a Discord channel. There is like an FAQ that that talks about like what all these things mean, or whether it's not an FAQ or something you just posted. Actually, I think for those of you that are asking about my my acronyms, this is what they mean. Okay, that's 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 the that's the that's our version of an FAQ. You know, um, so what what does what does that mean? What does quick sale mean? Okay, w one secret feature I got to share before getting in that is if you sort above the teams. You know where it says Las Vegas, and there's that little double arrow above it, on the on the far left. Uh, okay. Click that double arrow, and that that just sorts it in the order of the weeks, to oh. make it a little easier to look at. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so the solver, the quick sale, all that does is takes the biggest favorite available this week, and then does that again next week, and then does that again. And oh, keeps, I see. Okay, it just tries to pick the biggest favorite until you run out, and I think. It eventually puts you on an underdog and maybe Christmas. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. That's so, okay. It's yeah. just put. It's supposed to be a time saver. You know, it's it's not supposed to be like the strategy. It just makes right. things a little easier. Okay. Um. So, if you if you reset everything, or or I guess I'll just I'll go through the next couple ones. The long haul. So let's look at long haul. Oh, too much. So leave uncharted. <laughs> <laughs> leave some uncharted waters so i have to get rid of the first one probably right look it's not i i don't remember how many you need to get rid of but you also can't get rid of all of them because the long haul is trying to look at all the possible future combinations no, as no, well. what i mean is how do i get rid of the of the um of the quick sale that's uh, that's here already oh right in the middle of the screen reset there's okay. a reset button next to the share and um okay there's so many reset buttons i need to add i feel like i need better names for those but Oh, so long haul, you have to, okay, so for long haul, it says you have to drop some anchors across the map. Yeah, so I guess that what's mean is you say, okay, I'm going to, I know I'm going to want uh, Buffalo in, in anything. Let's, let's say I'm going to want Buffalo in week eight, like for example, just thinking about, yeah. or, or, or Detroit, sorry. Let's, well, that's, you don't want that. Let's, let's, I, I don't know what to even put. Let's put, let's just put, drop it, drop it. Let's, let's do this. Let's look at Miami in, in week eight. Okay. So then you could hit long haul. So long haul is, is looking at all the 18 or the 20 weeks and trying to maximize survival across 20 weeks. And to get that answer, there's a ton of combinations. It's, you can't, you can't actually get the good answer. Like the, you can't guarantee you can get the best answer quickly. Okay. So the, the algorithm keeps asking you to drop more anchors until it's a reasonable problem for it to solve. Okay. And I know that's annoying, but you know, as the season goes further and there's less combinations out there, it'll maybe seem a little cooler. Week one, it's hard to do it, but if you have maybe five or six anchors, okay, uh, it can do it. And you know, again, it's not it's not the answer. Of course, all this stuff that's far in the future, I, I as a player know to discount that stuff a little bit, right? It's yeah. week sixteen odds, oh, not the same as week two, but the long haul just treats them all like they're all the real percentages and tries to maximize across that. And old, then old ways. All right. So hold on. Let me see what old ways mean. So I'm so old ways. <laughs> this looks is your like an actual, you know, like survivor path that, that you can play, I guess. Old, um, uh, you're going to like this one. <laughs> you yeah. might never use this one. Maybe for reverse engineering, what everyone else is. Oh, doing. is this this one? Is this with oh. is this getting rid of all the uh, divisional uh, teams and the uh, and then the teams with the with the bad coaches and and the teams in bad weather? And or e easier than that, just no divisional matchups and well, no oh, road oh. road games. Awesome! You know? Congratulations! Good job. <laughs> biggest, the the biggest. first thing I thought of was when you mentioned that was you can use that as a way to figure out, you know, what some people will lean toward not doing. That's true. That's true. That's true. Oh, also the, the the solver the I button next to it has a little description in my own words. Ah, of there things. it is. And no road teams, no divisional matchups. I'll pick, I'll pick the biggest favorite. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Uh, All right, something for everybody in there. And okay. uh, the Zenith one, it doesn't work yet. We're gonna hope we hope to have one that's related to more 
popularity and selection percentage later in the season, but it's too early to worry about that stuff now. So we just got a little teaser in the menu. Okay. Well, before we get into like some, well, we'll make a couple of recommendations, I guess, for this week. But but anything that that you think I I missed, like the, where where you want me to? I mean, I encourage everybody to 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 go play with this. There's Twitter. Disc oh, there's a Twitter space at 4 p.m. Pacific time called Survivor Tailgate. Uh, there's a Discord Thanks, channel, and and he's and and Gabe is really into it, man. I mean, he wants he he likes to sweat people. He likes you know to he he wants people that are sharp to 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 get in there and yap. He wants to say, oh, dude, I remember what's his name said he was going to play Atlanta. Let's go check see if he actually did it, you know, and 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 have guys to root for and stuff. Um, and hmm. the the other thing is that you, know, you mentioned the 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 um the the the, uh, the swapping and 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 the, and the and the piece buying and stuff like that. You know, I never really um I never got I listen I never I just never do that I never got involved in that. But I guess it's becoming kind of big business, no? Yeah, last year at near the end, there was a huge appetite for people to do it. And from what I understand, that you know, people had lawyers involved and and. I, I, it's weird coming from a poker background and seeing yeah. people make deals with that involve lawyers. Like, yeah, right, uh, right, right, yeah, right, right. right. I think, it, I think uh, we'll see what happens with the market as it matures. Uh, but as far as business, I, you know, I always, I have friends that play, and I always love swapping with them. Uh, when I won it in 2021, I end up having seven other people on the sheet. I think. Um, I mean, like, here's an example. Like, this is one. This is like my proxy. Like this is my 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 whatever my uh, that's what I'm looking for. My the site, whatever I put my stuff in, whatever. And and they already they already have their own link. They have links to marketplaces already, where where you could like buy stuff and and whatever it is. So I am curious to see what uh, what becomes of that whole that whole piece. And yeah, like from a yeah. listen from a as a poker player where you like literally like like have millions of dollars on like handshake deals and stuff like that. To to see to see like all the litigation over this kind of stuff, possible litigation does not it's not exactly what we're it's not exactly what we're used to. You know, it's it's funny. We talked. I've been doing. You know, I, I I really didn't make a lot of the rounds as far as like the poker community for like a long time because I really stopped playing. Even like you know, listen, my staking stuff, I could spend like four hundred out you know hours and years talking about that stuff. And finally, in the last year, I got into like just talking about my backing business, how it used to be, and stuff like that. So everybody's really wants to hear about it, and. Mm. I, I, everybody's like shocked. But well, people that were with me back then are not shocked, or like you might be shocked. I never had a single like deal, like in writing with anybody. Okay, I, I, I didn't do it the extent that you did, but I never did either. And I had like like sixty four people in the main event. I had someone win the main event. I had a guy get third. I online mm. online which we didn't even know if it was illegal and people were like shipping money back and forth and <laughs> just trust was just yeah. kind of a thing you know like uh and uh and mm. listen i know it's obviously a, a good idea in general to do the right thing and to get things in writing and to be safe and this 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 but i don't know i mean you know it's like it's a i i don't feel as though if i put if someone was going to steal from me, I don't think if they had a contract, it would have it would change anything. <laughs> that is Eric. That's I have never done a contract in, in, in gambling business, and that is the exact reason why. That when people ask me why, they'll still they'll still they'll steal from me anyway. It's still going to be a huge hassle. You think you think they're it not going to steal because they, they have a contract? You know what I mean? Like, no, they would. If they're going to steal anyway, they will. Yeah. All right, so mm. let's uh let's 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 let's, let's do a couple. Of, listen, there's no, there's not even any popularities there's there there's oh. nothing okay oh, can, can i i'd like to go over one more feature sure. on, oh, the, on the website Let's you almost had a chance here let's go to uh the instruments sure for this year the so the uh -oh. ev calculator uh oh I don't, okay i don't know if you guys uh like staring at these uh but if you go down um if you it should be on the left right there Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I can see how great my picks were last week, even though they lost. Oh, I love that. Yes, it. yes. Good. So if you go up a little bit in the EV calculator and hit actual. Where, where, wait, where do I start? If you go to the instruments page. Okay. Or you can look at my screen here if you want. Uh, oh, you're, you're doing it right here. Too. Yeah. Actual. And then, so those three buttons at the top, 
fill in the, you know, the, what the popularity is. You can either use the actual, what the best available is, or what I projected a few days ago. And then you can simulate the EV using those, or you can make your own projections, or you can type in the entries from a different pool's percentages and simulate the EV. Um, but this is, is something I think about a lot. Let's see, actual. And then hit simulate, and then uh, you can, you can sort by you EV. Can see, you can, so, if, so if the cards were turned over and you knew what all the popularities were, actually, um, then these would be in the top e immediate EV plays. Um, yes, right on. Right. Now, again, that's not the end of the story, obviously, but that that is um, that's definitely. And that's what that's what you know, my partner will always say like, when they when, when the cards get turned over, they're like, oh, you know, if we knew that this, 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 you know, whatever. So, so uh, um, it's kind of like uh, Sklansky you know, theorem of poker, you have to, you have to judge based mm. on what, what you would have, what you would have done if you knew what the guy's cards were, you know? Uh, so, right. It's, it's at four o'clock Saturday. You have to make the decision. It's not after the game. So that's right. Uh, that's right. But, but no, but the point is, is that, you know, to analyze how well you did, you know, you have to see also, okay. So if you forget that you knew the results, if you knew the, also, if you knew the popularity, like, so, so being able to project popularity is, is obviously like an enormous, it's an enormous thing. Um, so, but this is cool. You could do your actual, like what your actual EV was given what the popularity was. And then you could also, like you said, like if you, if you didn't know, but at least make sure that you did the right thing, given the information you had, you know, like if you projected this, this EV, excuse me, this, this popularity. So you clicked on projection projected. Um, and then you'd simulate EV. You can at least, you can say, okay, I did the right thing from, from an EV perspective. Okay. From a short-term EV perspective, right. right? Just for the immediate, the immediate uh, uh, value hole, and that's like again a whole other thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so, or uh, this uh, the EV calculator too. It's also works. All the instruments work for all the past survivors. So, loading up, for example, circa twenty twenty, you can see all this stuff back then. You can load up, you know, the first week of circa twenty twenty, and see what the ownerships were and the EV was then. And maybe that's not for everybody, but I think it is interesting just everyone trying to develop their survivor skills and thinking about what makes a team sh immediately EV short term. Oh, so this was you say you, 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 say you won this, you won circa three years ago. Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, the, if you guys remember the big underdog on Christmas. Yeah. Okay. I, I was, were you the guy that would have won if, if the Browns had won? Yeah. I would have won the six. Oh my on, God. We would we we talk about that all the time. I, I, I talked about that multiple times last year. I said that guy on Christmas would have won the whole thing because he was smart enough to take the underdog on Thursday, right? Hey, right on. And so if you go to hit instruments right here, and we can look at the EV calc and how I approach that situation, uh, because the decision was worth a lot of EV. Um, oh, I want to talk off off stream on that. I mean, I, I brought that up multiple times uh, the last two years. That hey, exact, that exact play, I really did. No, I, I, I okay. think you might have mentioned it last week, and I was thinking, is he just or like, is this just happen or something? Maybe one of you. I don't forget what what I heard, but I feel like you all might have been teasing me last week with saying. No, I, I had no idea that was you. No idea. That was one of the no idea. That's incredible. okay. So so go down, go down, scroll down to the EV calculator again, and then, oops, a little too far. You know, Gabe, I never looked up to see if that person had won until last year. Oh, I, 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 I really didn't know. I just remember the pick, but I didn't know if that person won or not. Yeah, hey, so click the Christmas tree. I did. Christmas, uh, you're on week three. There you go, Christmas tree. So now hit, hit best available and then simulate. So if everyone just picked their biggest favorite, this is the EVs. And then when you hit actual and simulate EV, you can see how the, how the Tennessee play uh, right. shot up there. And yeah. You know, this type of – this play at the time, uh, it took some work to figure it out. Like, it took going through the PDFs, figuring out what everyone's plays, who they had available and what they were probably going to do, finding their kind of psychological profile. And I don't think anyone else in the field could have done it. They – you know, it was a big edge being able to do this. And it was also – that play was one of the big inspirations for Survivor Atlas because it seemed like, wow, if I can just – if I have data skills and it's making giving me so much value, I bet I can just create the same value for the other few thousand people. And 
good things will happen. And, so that's and the cool. order, the order makes you a lot, gives you a lot of options too, because you have the opportunity, to, if winning up front multiple days before everyone else plays, and only needing two upsets to have an incredible opportunity yeah. that I'll ask you about later. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, you know, the order didn't really factor in at the time. Um, we, we, you know, the, that game since it was Thursday. It was it happened before the picks were announced, and it just seemed like I knew the e, or the EV was going to be there. No one else was going to not take a favorite in twenty twenty. Well, I, I meant oppor- I mean, it gave you a lot of a potential opportunity. Like, were you sitting at the sports book uh, on Christmas night? Uh, no, I, I I had a pretty I, sick week. We we booked the uh, after the Sunday before when we knew we were going to be alive for Christmas. We booked the Ritz in Maui. A cabana for Christmas Day. We oh, thought wow. it'd be we thought it'd be lucky to, to try to win the six million, and uh, but then so that night the picks came out. I think Friday night, and then it was revealed that my EV, you know, because we already had the win, it went from four hundred k, and all of a sudden my EV was two million something. So because those teams could have lost, I could have collected all that. So I could have created a, a bunch of crazy hedges right then and locked up. A decent amount of money, especially about two minutes left in the game. Unfortunately, before the refs fucked you. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, well, that one. That's, that's cool. That was you. I really, I brought that up multiple times the last two years. That's pretty incredible. Hey, right on. Thanks, man. It was. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever see something like that again. I, I think maybe a lot of people. Oh, a hundred percent. It'll happen this year. I mean, if it gets there, people people don't like taking underdogs. I mean, I in two in twenty twenty. I told my part, uh, the, the, I, we sold, my partner and I did it and we had sold some pieces and I said, we're, we're taking an underdog on Thanksgiving. There's, there's no doubt. I mean, there's, we're, we're going to do it. Um, I wanted to take Detroit. I let everyone else vote and they wanted to take the football team. We took the football team. They beat Dallas and, and Detroit lost. We ended up losing with mm-hmm. three games left anyway, uh, Pittsburgh, but um, it was an incredible, it was, the, my EV was, our EV was like 1.9 or something like that. Yes. Hey, you might be able to, or you can. Oops, sorry. Or is uh, it's or it doesn't really matter. I, I was going to say it, it is fun to look back at those holidays and see what the EVs were, especially yeah. in those first years where no one was really thinking. That, you know, there wasn't much survivor like sophisticated thoughts, right? But like uh, a a handful of people figured out the underdog that year because Dallas was going to be owned, whatever crazy percentage on a on a two game slate. Yeah, it ended up working out that the spreads got pretty narrow too. Because we were we only took like a you know they're like a four point underdog because Dak was out I think so hmm. it was a pretty narrow spread. Where is it, how do I get back to this year's map? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So that or that that amount of like courage it took to to put it all you know three hundred four hundred thousand on an underdog equity. Uh, there was a spot this past year where someone could have tried to do it again on the big game before Christmas, Denver versus New England. I had tweeted about trying to buy some action on someone who was willing to flip on New England, but no one did it. And it would have ended up being like a, you know, million dollar equity swing, something if some, if anyone picked New England, obviously results oriented, but there was a couple opportunities to pick underdogs this last year. And it's funny, you know, you see people doing it in the first week when I think it's really bad. Um, But People won't do it in the future on the bottleneck weeks where it's probably really good. Well, I, I talk, we, I, I bring that point up a lot where kind of like in a poker tournament, people in a poker tournament, there's 10 people left in the tournament. You're close to winning it. There's nine people left. Um, but there's also pay jumps between ninth and eighth, eighth and seventh. Survivor, you don't have that. It's you, you, you make it down to the final person or you chop it up um, where you, you all make it to the end. And that is the time to take the greatest chances. Um, and it's it, it, because the EV, most people are going to take what they're supposed to take because it's hard to take that leap of faith. Yes. Well, it's, it's very important to do it and then multiple people do it. I think that's what a lot of people back out on is, oh, well, it wouldn't be worth it if someone else did it. Um, oh. But I, I, I will keep doing it until that happens. And then I'll just shrug my shoulder and say, oh, well. Um, hey, hey, I got to that, that brings up a great point thinking uh, in Circus Survivor, right? It's the biggest one. There's there's like these conversations in public about it. 
And because of the thing you're talking about where you don't want to be, you, you want to be on an island, right? You don't want people joining you on the island. You want to see oh, everyone yeah, yeah. Free, Freezing your pick and, 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 and advertising it. Yes, like yeah. or, or bluffing that you're doing that. Or, you know, we're in a new age of, of contests like skills. And I know on that people, Titan, a lot of people, a lot of people did that on uh, nitrogen because you couldn't change your pick. Uh, oh. that, that, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was a, for, uh, a place to use that. And, and here, you know, you, the thing is you can change your pick on Circa. Um, but on nitrogen, it was very effective because, Oh, you can't you change make it. Your... You, you can, you can, you can't change it once it's in the app. There, it's actually, you can show a lock screen for Circa. Just saying, uh, Oh, you can change the pick, or you can't. You you can if you're the, if you have a proxy. No, I, yeah, but but on but on, on nitrogen for a while you could not change your pick. So when you when you mm. sent that picture, that was your pick. No, I and, think I think that what 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 Gabe is saying is that once it goes into the app, you can actually show a locked screen. So oh, you can announce to the world that I I own this and it's not changed. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so on that Christmas play, you know that was one, you know. There wasn't that many people following Circus Survivor on gambling Twitter then, but uh, right. everyone in the field was following it, and I was posted under Circa. I heard people are taking the Titans. This is crazy, you know. I was doing whatever I could to try to scare people off the island. Um, and yeah, I mean, they were only what a, was it a four, three or four point underdog on Thursday? Yeah, three point dog. I think maybe close three and a half down, but uh, out of sixteen people, I just had to, every, all everyone had Tennessee available. I just had to make sure no one got got a little crazy with me so i was i'm if you look back one of my old twitter accounts is still under the circuit tweet saying everyone's on tennessee and maybe that might have been the first uh psyops in circus survivor history i'm not sure but i'll just throw that out there so so i on well again unfortunately i gotta go soon but 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 unfortunately again like it's a little I don't say early, but but why don't we? I just want to just give a couple of ideas for this week, okay? I I, I feel kind of crippled until I have at least general ownership projections, but 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 at least yeah, I kind of like that we don't know them. Uh, yeah, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go through just a couple, you know, just I'm just gonna go through them. I'm, I'm gonna limit it to the to the top, you know, rated rated teams here. So there there are a lot of choices this week, though. I know, so it's hard so, to limit it. So yeah, so I mean, Baltimore is you know, the biggest favorite, but they, they have some very, very obvious, um, very obvious uh, uh, pick ability, specifically nine where there's, what, what's it, the, the TDC or something like that? They're the TD. Top dog, top dog, that's right. Uh, <laughs> and, and and then you have, you know, Detroit, Dallas, who obviously have, have Christmas vig, uh, excuse me, um, uh, Thanksgiving vig. And then uh, you have Houston, then, then this next group, like Houston, LAC and Philly. Like, so if you, if you, if you presume for the moment that you don't want to do Kansas city either because of Christmas um, and you know, you have San Francisco, that's going to be a 37 point favorite in week four, you know uh, uh, that could, uh, that could be like the, either the total eat the chalk week or just hold your nose and hope you survive without playing them. Cause then if you could, you know, get, get past four with San Francisco still available, you'll be able to drop some serious bombs on people a little later. But the fact is, is that I, you know, to play them this week seems a little, whatever. So so for me, it's going to be probably, I was going to say some, some derivative of, of Baltimore, Houston in LA, LAC, eh, maybe Philly, I guess. And the, and, and, and the, the, the other thing I want to, I guess, throw at you guys is, is the, the ridiculous possibility of maybe using a little bit of Detroit, Dallas, um, uh, just to kind of screw around, you know, because, uh, uh, I I would do that if well first of all they're going to be like 0% owned okay uh for openers given given their their winning chances um I would do that if I knew that say it was one like like every year where Dallas is like 75% owned on Thanksgiving and I wasn't going to play them anyway on Thanksgiving what the hell am I saving them for you know so so I I'm I'm going to actually give that some serious thought to maybe sprinkle some some Detroit Dallas even though you know the pure, the purist, you know, wants wants to save them for flexibility, but I think it's going to be, I got to be for me, like some combination of of Baltimore, Houston, LAC, and I, it's just going to depend on where ownership projections play out, like where these guys rank, because you can make cases for, I mean, Houston, you know, you can make cases for them in six, you can make cases for them, maybe even in eight or in other places, so. 
all these teams like LAC is an interesting one because you know you don't think they have value but then you're like ooh maybe week 10 they have value uh, perhaps but if in fact they're going to be value in week 10 the whole country might have them available so maybe they're going to be a little bit too so so th there there's still stuff that I'm shuffling but I don't know how off the board really I'm getting it's going to be some probably combination of this of this group like probably Baltimore LAC Houston maybe drop to some Philly. What, what, what do you, we'll go to you game first. Just again, you don't have to say you're playing yet. Cause I'm sure, sure you have no idea yet either, but, but give, give me some like ideas of like what you're doing. Uh, so the Dallas Detroit, I am almost certainly going to pick at least one of them. I love using the holiday teams a little bit early. Uh, it just seems to be a big source of EV and, you know, you don't want to back yourself into a corner on the holidays, but finding a spot where you can, Pick one of them as a big favorite when no one else is on. It's, yeah. it's always worth considering. I'm not going to go big on, on Dallas, but I just know just the way my heart, like, you know, how these plays speak to me that I want to have at least some. Uh, also, the Chargers, pretty interesting seeing them steam up. I, obviously, Carolina sucks, and but the Chargers, no picnic either. Nope. <laughs> and they're – I think they're going to be kind of popular in Circa. I think they might hit 20-something. Maybe. I haven't done my projections. I will throw some out today, um, but I haven't got that to yet. And besides that, there's, a, you know, there's so many choices. I don't know how far down on the list I'm going to go. Would, would, you, would you try maybe like a Seattle if you didn't use them last week, maybe? I mean, that's possible. Uh, you know, yes. that's bad, actually. No, I'm I got like – Having nine entries going into week two, I am definitely going to get a little spicy. Um, I I don't like really concentrating my entries. Yeah. I like mixing them until, you know, until it's I feel safer, I guess. So I'm gonna have a mixed bag. I might have I might have nine different picks, and I I don't think that might sound crazy, but I think it might be reasonable on a on a week like this. Uh, no Baltimore, uh, although. I could imagine this week being kind of flat popularity wise. Um, you know, maybe Baltimore is not crazy high. Cincinnati losing in the first week does change the makeup of the field a little bit, right? Yeah, it's like, sharper now. Right. We got to deal with it being just a little bit sharper. And it's hard to know exactly. We're, we're trying to develop some kind of sharp tracking metrics, but I think mm -hmm. next year we'll probably we'll have that stuff. Uh, saving that for myself this year just to kind of get an idea how, how sharp this pool is. But uh, what about you? How, how far down on the list are you willing? Mike, Mike, you're going to make me play Pittsburgh this week, like, for example? Yeah, I am. Um, <laughs> I knew it. I just knew it. I'll, uh, I'll speak for Circa first. Um, I would never take uh, Dallas ever. Uh, it's not just because – you need them for Thanksgiving, which you don't. They have a much stronger closeout than Detroit does. So if you're going to take one of those two teams, I would definitely take Detroit. Uh, Dallas is far too valuable for weeks 15 through 18 than, De than Detroit is. So I, I definitely like Detroit more than Dallas right. for, for Circa. Point. I would never take Baltimore either in Circa. You, you have to play for this thing going the distance. Um, week nine is a very, very, very big week at current spreads for Baltimore. Um, they're separated he heavily from the number two team, which is Kansas City. And then, the and after Cincinnati, there's a big drop down. So, and then Baltimore also has a very good 15 to 18 closeout. So, I, I would, I'm going to take Baltimore and nothing. Uh, again, all of my pools are pools that I'm expecting to either go the distance or for my one with lots of double pick weeks, go to at least week 17. And I'm playing for that. So, you need in, in, a, in, a, in a pool with lots of people that's going to go the distance. You, you need Baltimore, but dude, but by, um, but but Mike, I'm going to remind you in this this conversation. By the way, when we get to Week Nine, and no one's going to want to play Kansas City or 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 or, or Cincinnati, and Baltimore is even going to be more popular then than they are now. So, but uh, but 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 it doesn't matter because if if that was Baltimore's last good game, I would feel differently. But because you have options, you have either Week Nine or you have a 15 to 18 closeout. Fair. Fair and enough. you, you, you can you can make you can make that decision then. It's it's just nice to have both options. I'm gonna get if I make it to week nine, I'm gonna have Baltimore, Kansas City, and Cincinnati available. Yep. So it, it you know it really doesn't matter. I you know I probably won't make it there because I'm gonna take chances to get there. Um, I not knowing the percentages, the the teams I like the most are Houston, 
the char uh, and the Chargers are, are, are my are, are my two favorites. Um, but the group that I also like is the Indianapolis, Washington, Seattle, Pittsburgh group. I think I like Indianapolis the most because they're they're playing Green Bay, right? Yeah, with no Jordan Love, and I don't know where that spread's going to end up. But, uh... Yeah, so I I I, I like Indianapolis because they're, they're they're bad, and it's going to be their best game the rest of the year. You could probably say that for a couple other teams as well. Maybe like maybe Washington. It looks like it's going to be Washington's best game the rest of the year as well. You you can't take Kansas City. You can't take San Francisco. I I don't think you can take Philadelphia either. Um, but you know. So for me, I'm going to go very heavy on on Houston and the Chargers. If their uh, pick projections are high, like 25 plus, I'll take some of them, but then I'm going to drop to that Indianapolis, Washington, Pittsburgh, Seattle group. Yeah, to fill it out. All right. So yeah. so so again, it's like uh, it's just it's not the normal time of the week, you know. Like I would normally like have all my data in front of me. I would have, be a lot more confident of what I'm talking about. Uh, on a Wednesday, but I did, I did want to get something out for everybody. And, and more important, mm. I wanted to, I wanted to get Gabe on here. You know, I, I, I followed him on Twitter. I guess he's followed us a little bit too. And, and, um, and, and just display this for you guys, because this is, this is, you know, this is where, this is where things are going, you know, and, and, and these are, um, these are some very valuable tools that, which are, and, and um, Gabe will be the first to say this, they're only going to get better. Like, it's so funny. Like the yeah. more you, the more you stay, stay doing this stuff. It's so funny. Like in two years, if you continue to develop this, you're going to look back on this and say, Oh my God, that was awful. You know, <laughs> like, and, but that's just the way technology is, you know, that's just yeah. the way yeah. development stuff is. I, I look back, I told you oh. some of my old poker tools that I created back in 2006, you know, <laughs> and I look at them now. Oh, I'm like, God, oh my yeah. God. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, this was a, uh, every oh. once in a while, I just kind of, I kind of, I kind of flash that up here. I mean, these, these were, these were like old, like the oldest version of solvers. Like I created back in like 2006, you know, whatever, whatever this was, you know, um, yeah, like and, caveman tools, basically something, now something like that, you know, but, but, um, I, but I would, Eric, I'd argue for back then though, those tools were pro my, really honestly might be better than today's tools for those games. The, playing yeah. those games exploitably back then were, were probably far better than playing GTO. Wow. Well, well, that's, mm. that's for another, I, I, I couldn't I couldn't imagine trying to be plus EV in, in tournament poker right now. Uh, <laughs> hey, so one more thing. I thinking about the software and improving. Uh, watching the show y'all show last week and seeing where you on, on the survivor grid, you click on the team's name and yeah. it puts the, the line across the screen. Yeah. Like, 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 like I I didn't have that feature last week and I saw you doing it and I was like, oh, I should I should build this. And there's there's a million things like that. I, we appreciate feedback so much. It's not just me working on it. We have a team. We're, we're you know, taking this seriously. And I just want to say that to you guys or to anyone out there watching, uh, I love feedback. I love criticism. Anything that you have to say about it where it could make I can make your life easier or we could make some features that make your process better. We're trying to help players. So I love seeing how people use it because it gives us idea to make it better. So thanks for that, guys. And whenever you see this black line crossed out in Atlas. I was oh, gonna... there it is. There <laughs> it is. Uh, I'll think. You guys can think of yourself. Or y'all are the inspiration, so. All right. All right, dudes. Uh, good Good luck. Uh, I'll, I'll be back next week, um, and we'll get on a better schedule, uh, Mike. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Mike. Uh, you know, uh, look out. Check out the True DFS Discord channel. Check out the Survivor uh, Atlas Discord channel. Um, uh, there's a lot of communication. Uh, there's a lot of ideas, a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on everywhere in Survivor. So, uh, thanks very much guys. And, uh, and, and good luck. Good luck guys. Thank you. Cool. All right. See you guys.